Hello guys, here's Johnny from GSMaholic. I always have a bout of nostalgia when seeing gaming phones, the ones with the part that slides below the screen. This time we've been sent one such concept, even since we've seen Nintendo phones, Xbox phones, you name it, there has been a real Xperia Play or PS Vita or 2, but the portable gaming only took over the past two years with gaming phones. Now the PSP phone is back, curiosity of designer Jacob Estep. The designer envisioned the smartphone that also gaming console. Although more the latter than the former, the device is rather rectangular than the Spartan in design, feeling a bit like a cyber shot camera. It has a trademark PlayStation blue line on the back, which is uh, bed lights up just like a, a PS4 line. The designer claims he wanted to base this design of the Sony newest Xperia phones, but with a twist or two. On the back, we see a dual camera setup that includes a 48 uh, megapixel pixel wide shooter or and a 6 megapixel ultra wide camera plus the time of flight sensor and the laser autofocus as well as the microphones and flash there is also shoulder buttons like air 1 l1 a trigger pad and the virtual air 2 and l2 buttons mac port is included as the top allowing you to attach accessories such as a webcam for live streaming gaming sensors the light bar on the back is also clearly showcased as a way to stand out the out of the rock phones, razor phones, black shark and red magic models. The device has both virtual controls and uh, attachable Mag shock controls, basically a sort of joystick attachment placed on the sides. They seem to cover the screen or its edge partially. We had two thumbsticks, a uh, d-pad and the action buttons. The phone is shown a black and white. The designs look very minimalist and uh, effective. PSP phone runs on Android 10 and lets you stream gameplay from PS Now or Remote Play. Controls are available for third-party games via API, there is also a mirroring to and from the PlayStation 5, you can learn more about the concept or the designer's website. Thank you, Kelvin from the codesandphones.com for borrowing his article in this video. For details, see the links below in the description and the video. That's all for today. See you soon with a new video. Bye.